nerdy style and we have some amazing outfits. Yes, we have some jeans, have some accessories, and the reason, if you guys are wondering, Olivia's hair is blue, or red, <laughs> is because for her Halloween costume, she's testing it out to make sure it can come out. And what a better day to test it. Yeah. So, let's get into, let's talk a little bit more about the accessories. Yeah. So we have necklaces, bracelets, I have my... Mickey bracelet, which I got a long time ago, and it has a beautiful low mm -hmm. pony, and some more bracelets, yep. and then we have some stairs on, mm -hmm. and what should we do next? We should start talking about the football, and let's take a look at last week's recap. Yes, so round about Grandma's my mom and Jared are assigned to my dad, we're competing against each other on the first time, so let's see their scores. Whoa, it looks like they both tied at a 95. That's pretty high, but to tie. And our next one, we have Oak Bluff Fun Zone and Magnolia Ponies. At 66 for Oak Bluff Fun Zone and Magnolia Ponies is 95. She trampled him. <laughs> Maybe Papu can win next time. Let's hope. Okay, so now we are doing now we are doing this scoreboard. Houston Smith, my cousin, and legendary Liv, Olivia. So Houston Smith is at a 99 for his total. That's pretty good. And legendary Liv is at 75. Let's hope next time legendary Liv can step up. And now our next recap is Victoria's Vivian with an astonishing win against Team Ryan. 134 points compared to Ryan's 91. That's gotta be some sort of record in this league. She's clearly won that match. Okay, which our last recap is Austin Henderson, my older cousin, and Agnolia Payton, my older cousin too. So, Whoa, this is a close matchup. Austin Henderson at 95, but Magnolia Payton at 99. Four points off. That is so close. Now let's take a look at the standings from week one. Who's in first and who's in last? Okay, so I'm going to be doing the top five, and she's going to be doing lower. So first... With a challenging record of 134 points, is Vivian, Victoria's Vivian, me. So, yeah. Okay, so in second place is Magnolia Payton. That's really good to be in second place, if you know. Second is the best. So, and then third, Houston Smith. Wow. And fourth, we have Magnolia Pony. Then fifth, we have Round Rock Rainbows. Yay. Okay, so I was just noticing something real quick. 99, 99, 95, 95, 95, 95. That's four straight 95s in a row. <sighs> My goodness. Okay, so now at sixth place, we have JR Designs at 95, <laughs> 95. Austin Henderson at 95 as well. And Team Ryan at 91. Legendary Liv at 75. <laughs> but hey, that's still good. And then on last place, we have Oak Bluff Fun Zone at 66. Okay, bottom five. Maybe you didn't do the best this time, but I bet next time you're going to be in the top five. Action. So for the for our final segment, we are going to do the week two preview. So let's get into it. So for JR Designs, my dad, and Team Ryan, my younger cousin, wow, they are both so close. 97 and 96, that's anyone's game at that point. But they both need to win because they both haven't won yet. So that will be fun to see. Okay, for this next matchup, we have Houston Smith, which he's already gotten a win, and Ron Ron Rainbows with a tie. So is Houston gonna is Houston Smith gonna win again, 
or is Round Rock Rainbow's gonna win, or are they gonna tie? And as you can see, Houston Texas has already had two points, but Round Rock Rainbow is projected higher at 97, but he is projected at 96, so really it is anybody's game. Action. Okay, so now we have another scoreboard. My Molly Ponies, my younger, my younger cousin, and Victoria's Women. So, Magnolia Ponies already have nine points, but the projection total is is kind of close. But Magnolia Ponies could step up her players a little more. But this makes it really interesting because we both had one win. We don't know who could win. Okay, so for our next matchup, we have Oak Bluff Fun Zone and Austin Henderson. And honestly, their projecting totals are not that close, but Oak Bluff Fun Zone is at 87 and Austin Henderson is at 94. So it's a little bit low for Oak Bluff Fun Zone, but and like I've said before, it could be anyone's game and it's clear that they're proven wrong. Oak Bluff Fun Zone has had no wins yet and Austin Henderson has had no wins yet of either. So who's gonna get their first win today? Or will it be a tie? Okay, now with our last preview, we have Legendary Liv and Magnolia Payton, my older cousin. And, whoa, look at Olivia, Legendary Liv. She already has 38 points to Magnolia Payton, zero. And look at those projection totals. Legendary Liv at 118, when Magnolia Payton is only at 95. Is Magnolia Payton gonna step on his game, or is Legendary Liv finally going to win a game? Thank you so much for joining us and watching Fashion Football. That, yes, this wraps up all of everything that we've done today for week two. Join us next time for week three. And, and see you next time. Bye! Bye.